Hey, what's up guys? This is Greg, and today we're talking about improving your aim with Zenyatta and how this video will help you if you feel your heart stuck in your elo or if you want to start climbing. I started to play Zenyatta back in Season 7 because I saw its potential to have a huge impact on the game. I mostly played support because DPS was a role that was usually insta-locked and no one wanted to play support back then. Watching Overwatch League last year, I saw how much he was used and how certain players carried games with their Zen gameplay. I don't aspire to be an Overwatch League player, but I do want to improve and impact games. First off, this video is for those who are below diamond and want to climb, or those that feel like they are stuck in a rank and can't get out. In just a moment, we will look at my career profile and I will show you my journey and how I've used what I will tell you in this video to get almost to mid diamond. Second off, this video is just one piece of the puzzle. There are a few other things I believe will help you improve and climb in the ranks. If you like this content, please consider subscribing because I'll continue to upload videos about how to get to Diamond and improve your overall gaming experience. And also consider following me on Twitch where I share my tips and can answer any questions that you have on how to improve as Zenyatta. All right, let's look at my career profile. As you can see, I've almost made it to mid Diamond. This was a huge accomplishment for me because for about five seasons, I was stuck in plat, basically mid plat. I'll show you each season and show you the details of how good my Zen play was when it comes to aiming. My first season playing competitive was season seven and I was a gold player. I mostly played Mercy because she was definitely meta back then and everyone wanted a Mercy on their team, but no one wanted a player. Then I started playing Zenyatta and started to have an impact on the game and climbed to mid plat that is where I stayed from season 8 to 13. I took a couple seasons off though. As you can see, not a whole lot of change happened between the seasons. It went up and down, but then finally a huge growth spike in my SR with over 400 gains so far this season from last season. Which brings me to my main point in this video, which is improving your aim as Zenyatta. Zenyatta is a powerhouse. He can support his teammates with healing, but you don't need to focus your attention on them. You just throw your orb and focus on fragging. But you can't frag if you can't aim. And Zenyatta's orbs is a projectile, so it's a little more difficult aiming than a hitscan player such as McRight Click or Soldier76. Looking at my Season 12 stats, when I didn't take aim that serious, you can see my accuracy and it wasn't very good. 9% critical and my primary and secondary fire was just 20% and a best of 22% in the game. I started to take aim practice a little bit more serious and made some adjustments with finding my perfect sensitivity and in season 13 I noticed some growth. I got 11% critical accuracy, 23% primary and secondary fire, which is a 15% increase, and then a 45% increase with my best in game accuracy going from 22% to 32%. I'm continuing to utilize the strategies that I will share with you throughout this season and my critical accuracy has decreased but I'm okay with that because my overall primary and secondary accuracy has increased 23 to 27% which is a 17% increase. So enough of my stats let's focus on you and share what I did to improve my aim which helped me to have a greater impact in competitive games and get out of plat and to diamond. The first thing I suggest that you do is find your perfect sensitivity using the PSA method, which is the perfect sensitivity approximation method. I've done this a few times now to fine tune my sensitivity. If you've already done this, you can skip this part of the video and go to my next tip. So to find your perfect sensitivity, you will want to set aside about an hour to do. It does take a while, but I promise it will be well worth it. Also, you do not want to warm up for this, so don't play any games before doing this. This method helps you find the sensitivity that best works for you without warming up. So when you do warm up before going into comp, it's just like any other athletic activity. It's to help you get in the zone, get your muscles loose, and prepare to play. I would set your DPI and your mouse to 1200. This can be changed later, but this is a good baseline and it can be adjusted later as I will discuss the importance of DPI and its effect on pixel skipping. Once you set your DPI, jump into Overwatch and into the practice range and find the in-game sense that would give you a full 360 degrees from the left side of your mouse pad to the right edge. You want to pick this because as we go through the PSA method, if you pick the lowest number on each iteration, you will still be able to do a 180 on your mouse pad. Once you have that sensitivity, put it in the PSA method calculator, which is linked in the description below, and then copy and paste the low number into Overwatch and stand as far back as you can and track the bot with just your fingers. Not your wrist or your arm, just your fingers. Do that for a minute 
and then move up and track with your wrist, not your fingers or your arm, just your wrist. In the next minute, move up to the bot and track only with your arm, without using your wrist or fingers. The last minute, move back and forth while strafing and use all three, your arm, wrist, and fingers to track the bot. After you've done that with the low sense, input the higher sense and go through all four movements again with the higher sense and be objective which one felt better. Don't try to copy what your favorite streamer or pro player uses. You want to find the sense that is tailored to you. Nathan on Blizzard Guide said it best. This isn't about finding some pro sensitivity. This is about finding the sensitivity to make you pro. So after you've done this first iteration, decide which one felt better, the higher or lower. Choose that one and then go through each iteration deciding which one feels better, the higher or lower one. And then you will find the sensitivity perfect for you. I am more of an arm aimer and so the lower sensitivities felt better. But maybe you are more of a wrist and finger aimer so the higher sensitivities will feel better. Do what's best for you and your aim style. Once you get the sensitivity, you will want to input this information into the DPI jitter tool, which is linked below. And make sure this DPI and sensitivity is a good match for your monitor's resolution, so you don't get aims jitter or pixel skipping. I'm showing you the numbers I just got by randomly putting it in, and then my actual DPI and sense, and how it would be affected if I had a lower DPI, but a higher in-game sensitivity. If your monitor shows up red, that is bad. So you will want to adjust your DPI and sensitivity by multiplying the DPI by 2, or by 3, or by 4, and then dividing your in-game sense by the same number, so that your eDPI stays the same, but we want your monitor to show up blue to avoid pixel skipping. Congratulations, you have found the right sensitivity for you. My next tip has been a huge help to me to improve aim. It is possible for your aim to improve just by playing comp, but also during that time you are focused on healing your teammates, positioning, ult usage, tracking ults, and coordinating with your team, and that is a lot to have going on. We want an environment that challenges you to improve in one area, particularly your aim. And I've done custom games with Anabots and Lucios, and that didn't really help. The AI doesn't move and react like players do. My tip is to join custom free-for-all games. I like to search for the try-hard free-for-all because they usually don't have the tanks in there, and it's usually all skill-based heroes. In this arena, you can focus on improving your aim and learning the different animations of the heroes, especially those you'll probably have to 1v1, like Tracer, Genji, and Sombra. When you join these games, don't have the mindset of winning. It would be awesome if you won, but to be honest it is very difficult to win these matches because heroes like Genji and Tracer can blink in, steal kills, and dash out. I've made it to top 2 or 3 once, maybe twice, the dozens of times I've been in these matches. Just focus on improving yourself as Zen and improving your aim. Focus on your left clicks, but also focus on your right clicks. Your right click is very powerful and can melt heroes if you get good at aiming it. Zenyatta with his projectile orb definitely takes the time to get a feel for. I still have a long way to improve, but this tryhard free-for-all has helped my accuracy improve 17% from last season, so I suggest you join me. Let me know if we are ever in a game together. I love dueling Zins when I have a chance. So I usually do 2-4 to four games of free-for-all before jumping into comp. It's a great way to get warmed up and improve. Free-for-all also helps with positioning, but I will touch on that on the next video. Alright, my final tip is just to play comp. You can't climb and break out of an elo if you aren't playing. And at such low elos from bronze to plat and even so far in low diamond, Zen seems to work in almost every comp. If you are getting shredded by divers and you aren't getting any peel, then maybe switch to another support. Don't blame your teammates. Focus on how you can have the biggest impact on the game. And even if you can frag a Zen, it's impossible to get kills if you're dead. But play Zen as much as you can. This way you can use all those aim gains you got from training and popping off and free for all onto the competitive games and climb and help your teammates climb. You will now have a big impact on the game and your teammates will be so pumped as you help them stay alive with your orb and your trance, but also as you frag out. I only play Overwatch for, for 2-3 to three hours, 4-5 to five days a week, but utilizing these tips, I'm still able to progress and climb. My goal is to make it to Masters, so hit that link in the description below and come follow me on Twitch and watch it happen. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe as I will be putting out more content on how to improve your gameplay and improve your overall gaming experience. Hit that like button if this video was helpful, share it with others who you think it might help. Come join me on Twitch, I would love to interact with you more. Thanks for stopping by and until next time, get after those gains and games.